Hello, my name is Ostborn Holmstrand and I live in Sweden. I have always been against torture and this, death penalty. Death penalty is irreversible and utterly cruel and the utmost violation of a human being. It's contrary to the human rights. It is proved that it is not deterrent, just cruel and inhuman. My opinion made me a member of Amnesty International, which works for human rights. But I was quite a passive member. But something happened. I read a small news item in a paper. It said, crying and horrified, the two teenagers were brought to be hanged in public on Edalat Square, Mashhad, Iran. Crying and horrified. Here are the boys. Mahmoud Askari, 14 years old when in prison, and Ayas Marhoni, 16 years old that day. They got 228 lashes each in prison. This is Mahmoud on the way to the gallows. The butchers are forcing them to stand on a table on a truck. The butchers are placing the noses around the boys' necks. The boys are waiting to die. But soon the blindfolding will be removed. They will watch each other dying. The truck has driven away and the boys are slowly getting strangled during terrible pain. It might take them several minutes to fall unconscious, feeling the most severe pain and horror. This is Mahmoud's brother watching Mahmoud dying. When I read that small news item and saw the photos, I felt something indescribable. The greatest pain but also an enormous power that gripped me and threw me into action. So first I joined the Amnesty Human Rights Group in my city. There I met Mani, born in Iran. We started an intensive work to stop these horrifying violations, first of all the executions. The regime in Iran also executes political prisoners, The regime stones people to death. At least 11 persons are waiting for that. An inconceivable suffering beyond words. The regime prescribes flogging in public. The fundamentalistic Mullah regime will execute at least 150 minors, children. This is Mohammed Reza Haddadi, imprisoned 15 years old. He will be executed if we don't do anything. Makwan Mulutsade, only 13 when he was sentenced to death, now executed. Said Kambazai, executed 17 years old. Delara Darabi, imprisoned 17 years old, innocent, but executed. Atefa Rajabi, executed when she was 16. Benam Zare, 15 years old, when imprisoned. He managed to make a phone call from the prison. He begged the whole world, help me, please help me, I don't want to die. But he was hanged. These are only a very few examples of the Iranian state crimes. 
My friend Mani and I wrote many hundreds of protest letters to politicians all over the world, organizations, our foreign department, the European Union, the United Nations, church leaders and many others. We also have protest articles published in newspapers. We speak on the radio. We take part in demonstrations in Sweden and in other countries and we spread our leaflet in different languages. Here it is. Executions of minors, stoning. I came to know Iranians who are supporters of PMOI, People's Mujahideen of Iran. That is an organization that strives for peace, a peaceful change of Iran. From a murderous dictatorship to a democracy with human rights. People's Mujahideen is the largest and most active part of NCRI, National Council of Resistance of Iran, coalition of democratic forces and parties, which oppose the Mullah regime. Elected president of NCRI is Mrs. Mariam Rajavi. She is a frequent guest and invited speaker in the European Union and its governments and receives great respect and appreciation for her inexhaustible struggle for democracy in Iran. I would like to show Mariam Radiavi's 10 points plan for a future Iran and give a summing up of the points. From our point of view, the ballot box is the only criterion for legitimacy. So accordingly, we seek a republic based on popular vote. We want a pluralist system with freedom of partisan assembly. In Iran of tomorrow, we will respect all individual freedoms. Expression of opinion, speech and the media are completely free and any censorship or inquisition is banned. In the free Iran of tomorrow, we support and are committed to the abolition of death penalty. The Iranian resistance will establish the separation of religion and the state. Any form of discrimination against the followers of all religions and denominations will be prohibited. We believe in complete gender equality. We want to set up a modern legal system. We are committed to the universal declaration of human rights and international covenants and conventions. We recognize private property, private investment and the market economy. We want a foreign policy based on peaceful coexistence. And finally, we want an Iran devoid of nuclear weapons and weapons of mass destruction. I started working with People's Mujahideen more than four years ago and I have absolute trust in them. That gave me so many good friends and fellow combat combatants in Sweden, Europe and even in America. Here we are demonstrating in Stockholm in order to remove the terror label from Mujahideen. The mullahs had managed to make the western great power nations put that label on Mujahideen by profitable business deals. We finally managed. Here we are celebrating the victory in front of the European Union building in Brussels after the, the Union's removing of that label. In Geneva we demonstrated for the protection of Camp Ashraf. Around 3,500 unarmed Mujahideen members stay in Camp Ashraf in Iraq as protected persons under the Fourth Geneva Convention. They are, beside the Iranian people, the strongest and most serious threat to the Mullah regime. 